All right. So it is with, um, it's sad news actually that uh, we got, I actually woke up to the email that Arcage is actually being sunsetted, which is unfortunate. So we're gonna have a look at this at the moment. Um, I've always had a special spot for Arcage. I don't know why, I just had a friend of mine showcase it to me a long time ago. And I've even got a, ch a video on this channel, like what was it, about seven months ago, where I was like, you know, they were talking about like getting rid of or merging Unchained with Standard Arcage and hopefully things are gonna be okay. But I think unfortunately though, when I when it went with Gamigo or Gamingo, whatever they're called, just a just a absolute just disregard for the community and the monetization and just oh just absolute poo show right but it says here uh dear inheritors as a publisher of games it is our mission to provide players with great and enjoyable gaming experiences so it is with heavy hearts that we announce the official closure of our arcade service effective june 27th 2024 so i i i dare say right and we've we've seen this before right and maybe just maybe this is a good thing right now i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure there's already private servers for arcade if that's true and you still love this game then maybe it's the best thing to do is to go to them because why like you know if these companies can't do the right thing then it then it's up to everyone else you know um so i'd, I'd have to look into it um i don't know if you can advertise private servers but um i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure that there was one after discussing the performance of arcade with xl games at length we have concluded that we're no longer able to provide the mmorpg we envisioned the declining number of active players means the game's content is no longer accessible in the way it used to be and the experience of it is different from what was generally intended yeah when i was first shown the game by a friend of mine like it, it looks it looked amazing even the even the basic premise still is amazing but they just like fumbled it like completely fumbled it like how could you just mess up so bad you know it's a gorgeous world i really like the skill system the the you know the combination of being able to have all these different skills from all different classes and coming up with your own you know uh sort of class identity and stuff like that i thought it was amazing but um they they just you know greed you know it became a major factor in light of this we made the decision to decision to terminate the live service of arcade in europe and north america we understand this news is disappointing for it's a feeling we share well and don't forget though like we now know 100 percent that arcade 2 is coming out right so it could be a combination of I mean, we've known that it's been struggling for years, so it's not like they're killing this really healthy game and, and stuff like that. I, I'd say that, like, Arcade 2 gives them a fresh reboot, right? So, uh, and it's not the same, because, I, I mean, I'm a massive fan of Guild Wars 1, but Guild Wars 2 kind of, like, broadened the game to a whole bunch of people, right? Because it made things a lot sort of easier, or, you know, a lot sort of more welcoming, that sort of thing. Uh, Guild Wars 1, as wonderful as it is, can be quite difficult for a new player to, to get into. Uh, after discussing the performance we have concluded, blah, 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 uh, we understand this news is disappointing for this feeling we share. Arcade has been a big part of our lives, and we know many of you have a history with the game many times longer than ours. As we approach the end of this journey, we invite you to join us as we ride into the sunset. So the roadmap is game access uh, will remain live until 8 UTC on June 27, 2024. Customer support uh, will be available until September 27 to assist with any inquiries or concerns. We want to extend our deepest gratitude to member of N uh, Noir, uh, Harana, uh, am I saying that right? Uh, and the pirates who called Arcade home. Your spirit and stories will forever be a part of the legacy we created together. Though our paths may diverge and the memories we made will always remain. For ongoing updates, please keep an eye on our official channels. We are committed to providing transparent and supportive services on the very last moment. So, uh, can you get a refund in terms with, uh, you know, so there's some notes here in, can I, uh, if you want your money back. Uh, unused credits and purchase web packages are not eligible for refund. If you have made your purchase through Steam, please reach out to Steam's customer support as we do not process refunds for purchases made through Steam. 
So any Patreon time or taxable life buff time remaining after April 25th, 2024 will automatically be exchanged to credits at the following ratio. One day of Patreon is 50 credits, one day taxable life for 41 credits. So, um, yeah. I'll, say, I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to check out. Right? Um... But, you know, and, and the, the official Discord will remain open until June 27, 2024 as well. So that's going to get shuttered down as well. Uh, this is very disappointing. Like, you know, it's... I, like I said, I like the game. I'm a, I'm a massive fan of MMOs in general, right? Whether they're major, like, hugely popular or not. It's always great to see these wonderful new worlds get created and, and get in there and explore. And it's just a shame, man. It's just a shame that this has happened to it. Like I said, the uh, Arcage 2 is coming out. We know that. We know it's going to be vastly different, right? And and because of that, it's going to be a lot more, again, like I was saying earlier, welcoming for people. More action-based, you know, so that's going to be a lot more exciting for people. And they're probably coming at it from a completely different approach. So I unless, unless something's happened and they've cancelled work on Arcage 2, which I doubt, considering it looks fairly good from what I saw, um, I'd, I'd say that, you know, you know that one's still coming out, um, and I'm going to assume there's going to be no transference over from the original game either, especially if they're, like, cancelling this one, uh, you know, mid this year, so. Anyway, guys, I'll leave it there. Let me know what you think. Catch you next time.